And I, I've given my nephews this advice too. Like, listen, if you want to become a lawyer, then yeah, you're going to college. Your ne- your nephews got good heads on their shoulders. Well, the but part. they're but they're they're being indoctrinated into this shit, and I keep telling them, it's like, listen. First of all, my oldest one is like just turned fourteen. It's like you're fourteen years old. What you think you want to do today is probably not what you're going to want to do next year, much less when you turn 18. And even when you turn 18, what you want to do then is probably not what you're going to end up doing by the time you're 30. So chill the fuck out. I'm telling him right now, He's I'm super proud of him. He's the athlete I never could have been. He wrestles and he plays football now, and he's a fucking nose tackle in his first fucking season. The kid's a train. I told him, I said, like, get your good grades and concentrate on football and wrestling because then if you want to go to college. You get paid for it. Well, yeah, it's like if you're playing football or wrestling, your likelihood, of, if you're good at it, your likelihood of getting a scholarship shoots way up and then you can basically do whatever you want. And then you get to play football and wrestle for four See, more years. Not everybody can be Wolverine and Deadpool. Yeah, not everybody. They don't have, they didn't have to go to college. But what I told, like, honestly, if you have somebody, if I have a young man in particular, who says, you know, I don't really like school, but I don't really know what I want to do with my life. The best advice I'd give him is, like, man, like, if you're into cars, go learn how to do that shit. If you try construction, like, try it out. There's plenty of people who will pay you just to be a laborer because they can't find anybody. I mean, listen, if you don't want to, like, work hard, I mean, you're going to have to work hard in one way or another. But the thing is, if you don't want to, like, actually, like, do the labor work, you know, that he's talking about for construction, talk to a freaking roofing company yeah. that does tons of roof, uh, roofing jobs. They they need uh, project managers who basically find them work. Yep. You know, and the thing is, if you're good with talking with people, you can literally go and, you know, like, say there's a storm. You know, don't be one of those creepy companies that come from a state over you know, if like if you're in a sta- in a county and you want to go to the next county and knock on doors and talk to people, yeah, do that. But you know, you can literally knock on doors and you know talk to these people and assist them with their insurance. You know, it takes a little bit of training, but I mean, it's not a lot. I did it and I made very good money doing it. And honestly, I don't know why I'm not doing it. Probably because it's getting starting ready to get cold again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But so basically, there, there are jobs out there. Yeah, basically, work with what you have. Deadpool. How did we get on this? Hold on, I'm, I'm looping it back around. See, Deadpool is really good at killing motherfuckers. So, he didn't go to college. He killed. He kills people for money. Your mom goes to college. 